If you are new to the channel, my name is Sorosha Shaib and I'm a host of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. A channel is devoted to the news, updates, uh, pursuit of knowledge, if you will, about the game Satoshi's Treasure Hunt, a alternative reality game that is global, that requires uh, what we call hunters, the people playing the game, and clans members or clans that have formed um, out of the individual hunters to solve different puzzles and attain keys. These keys are uh, a total of a thousand um, spread out through this game in, its, in, its, in essence. It's a global game in which you have to gather as up to 400 of these keys at any combination at any point. So it could be from key one to you solve the puzzles up to 654 because some puzzles they get solved combine it together and you will get it, the reward which is a bounty of one million dollars USC in Bitcoin so today, so today was a coup day a clue has dropped for a particular key in this case the key is called the tone key and let's discuss uh, what that key is about <clears throat> so here we are on the official Satoshi's Treasure Hunt site. As you can see, the name of the clue is Fool Your Ear, and the name of the key is Tone Key. <clears throat> and it was dropped August 15th, which makes it, you know, technically four months since this game has started. This is the clue Fool Your Ear. Ten pieces of music have been mixed. Identify the 10 songs included in the mix and order them by date release, starting with the oldest. Arrange the first letters of each song in this order to unlock a key. As you can see, the key is highlighted, and that is because for this particular puzzle, the game makers have decided to give us the decryptor page first. So we do not have to determine what the decryptor page is. We just merely have to figure out the passphrase. That's not always the case with these uh, puzzles. But it is a nice step because this particular puzzle is a bit of a hard one. So this is, go back here, the music mp4 file. It is 30 seconds long, so let me play it for you. So the song I heard right off the bat was towards the end there. Uh, this song, Gangster's Paradise, by Mr. Coolio himself, Mr. Partner with Martha Stewart, if you will, in cooking. Uh, I guess they did that for a while. Um, and then if you use a particular tool, a music tool that everyone likes to use, I, I know my parents use it all the time. Um, Shazam. If you use this the very distinctive uh, app app that everyone has been using for forever called Shazam on your phone, it's not going to give you the results you want. In fact, it's only going to give you one song, and that's from Duran Duran, Ordinary World. So that's two songs just by the ear that I have personally, you know, just really easy right off the bat uh, figured out. And then trying to listen to the lyrics of a couple of the songs. Um, I know it's distinctively towards the end there's a one rap song that I'm going to have to do some search on. Maybe through Genius or something for lyrics. And, um, and then very early on there's this distinctive R&B theme that just gives me Erica Bob Do vibes. But that's just personally the stuff that I'm personally going to have to go through when hunting for... Um, the passphrase, which, you know, if you put them in order, you know, uh, Duran Duran, Gangster Paradise, and just the first letters of each t title of each song, it's just, you know, 10 words. So 
is not a lot versus uh, previous uh, decryptive passphrases that have been like pretty long, like 16, 24, like really ridiculously long. So this one, while not the shortest, that goes to the STC key, this one is fairly short, but distinctively hard because you cannot, I think, using something like Shazam or any similar app like that, be able to pick off all the 10 different songs. So another tool that I am utilizing um, is one from an older clue, uh, which hasn't still been sold yet, which is the Sonic Visualizer um, from the Earth Key uh, so puzzle bit. I have a link in the show notes, but our old friend Sonic Visualizer is a tool that I'm using on this particular puzzle to solve. And bin walk, which I finally have kind of figured out how to utilize. Don't know how to make sense of it all, but I have gotten at least the functions working and having some understanding of what they do. So let me walk you through what I have personally done and try to attempt to solve for this clue. So here I have the sonic visualizer. My thought was, well, maybe if I did like the earth key and add um, a spectrogram, because that's where we found the, the QR code in the little uh, internet song that we downloaded that gave us a passphrase and a QR code. And I'm not seeing anything here. We kind of move up and just kind of look at it. I'm going to zoom out. I am not seeing any like hidden images here. Now I am noticing some funkiness in the corner right here in the background, but I'm not really sure what to make of this right here, of this song. And going through um, the different ways that you can look at the um, song. For example, I, I took the uh, video and convert it to an mp3 file. But just looking at the different spectrums and trying to see if I can piece to where uh, the different songs are layered. And as you can go through here, you can see certain points in which um, might be where certain songs are layered on top of another to help you kind of piece away uh, the songs. Breaking it down by frequency. Um, spectrum is another one, and it just gets really crazy at the end here. Let me put this pane all the way up. It's like really crazy. This is where like a lot of the other, I think a lot of the layers are for this particular song where most of them seem to be centered around is towards the end here. And mind you, this is only, you know, 30 seconds of music and 10 songs are crammed in here. And so if you play the music, you can kind of what all is going on here. Particularly with the frequency here on the bottom. So fundamentally what I think 
we all are gonna have to do unless someone's like just really good with piecing out different songs um, hearing the layers and there are very skilled people that can do that and if you know somebody can I would be hitting them up hardcore um, we're gonna have to like play the song and just piece different snippets of it maybe run it through Shazam it might work um, but try to piece and parse out maybe the lyrics of what we're hearing in order to uh, find the 10 songs Another tool that I am personally utilizing on this, and again, don't fully understand it, but I am trying to understand, is called Ben Walk. So, <coughs> after opening Terminal, I type in Ben Walk. I already have this program downloaded into my computer. I use Ubuntu and Linux. I believe this is a Linux tool. But, <coughs> here we go. So I type bin walk and then what I want to do is called a hex dump. And the best way I can explain it is it allows me to know what's going on with the file. And when I see this, when I do this for the different files you have to download to solve problems, uh, particularly with the checkered board key with that clue which is a uh, red white and red all over uh, they must be talking about the hex dump because this is what comes up when you hex dump it's white and red and normally I'm assuming most terminals um, are black so there might be something in the the file itself and people are just not quite finding it So this file is fairly large. It is going here. Okay, so that took <clears throat> quite a bit. And when it was done, it ends with these um, X's down here, which I've so far with uh, dump, hex dumping files I have not seen before. Um, and if you go through here, um, if you have an understanding of this, um, Perhaps you can spot the errors or any information that might help figure out when um, a particular song starts or ends and maybe then you'll be able to parse out the 10 different songs. So I've um, utilized that, and what can I say? <laughs> it was a large file. But honestly, really, I think the Sonic Visualizer, as far as tools go, is probably the best one to utilize. I think that it um, helps to be able to be able to piece and cut away the songs and figure out from, through the playback what each of these these songs could be. So that's it for this particular clue. Um, again, as I stated when the, the video, and I'll have a link in the show notes, as well as the end here, <coughs> or, you know, the YouTube thing. Uh, 50 keys uh, never released so I'm trying to change up uh, the lessons I've learned from the first uh, <coughs> almost 48 episodes um, and the, the ones I've ditched <laughs> uh, for season 2 so there will be a change of the hats
We are gonna go with the wait for season two. Oh wait, it's not backwards. There you go. A proper fool. Or whatever. Nah. Okay, how we go? Alright. Nope. Had it correct. Okay. <clears throat> so my name is Rosia Scheib. Uh, you've been filled in on Clue Day. Uh, good luck to the hunters and clans out there and their solution for solving the uh, Tonki. Uh, there will be a weekly update video. I'm sh aiming for the 18th for this one this week. There have been some knuffles going on in the communication chat for the Sochi Treasure Hunter on Telegram. And um, we'll cover that during the weekly update as well as any solutions to any keys that have been publicly disclosed or any keys I personally have figured out or found. Uh, so I'm signing off for now. Uh, what do you think any of the songs down below? Uh, please make some comments. And uh, until next time, on with the hunt.